Assalamualaikum everybody. My name is Zandeep Akim, and I am a student of the Paragon Academy Badi in Advanced Level. Today my topic is the review of book which is the Think and Grow Rich, written by which is written by the Napoleon Hill. So this book is based on the based on the most greatest 500 people in the 20 in the 20 century, including Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, and Graham Bell, and there are the many greatest men in the 20th century. So this book was first published in the 1937, and it has now sold the 30, 70 millions over the copies, uh, 17 millions copies all over the world, all over the globe. So. there in this in this book there are the 14 chapters in the authors discuss in his book so but i am here in uh, but i am here to tell you the three main chapters of this book including desire uh, desire imagination and organized planning so let's start so number 1 is desire the starting point of all achievements in this chapter the author said that the growing rich start with the desire to do something so the desire discussed here is it is not a hope it is not a wish but it is a burning desire it is a indefinite so the so, so the succeed so the burner succeeds because he plays his all energy all his will powers and all his efforts to achieving the goal and he chooses a definite goal in their life so so the author present present a six part method to ensure that this is the type of desire you are starting with number 1 is fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire and number 2 is determine exactly what you will need to give for this money number number 3 is data establish establish a definite date by which you will need to acquire this money and number 4 is create a definite plan to acquire the money and take the first step first steps take take the first step immediately number 5 is put your four items above into a clear and concise the sentence describing each part and the last is read the statement aloud twice three daily in the morning and at night so number 2 chapter is the imagination in this chapter mr hill separate the imagination into two conceptual types the number one is synthetic imagination which is simply rearranging the exist ex- existing ideas into new concepts and number two is creating creating creative imagination which creates the something from nothing successful is successful is essential to have imagination because you can make all the plans to achieve your goals if you can imagine you can achieve more when you connect with your thoughts and desires there is a high chance of achieving your goals imagine imagine all the pictures which you want to achieve to achieve your goal to achieve to achieve your to achieve your goal you have to develop your imagination the people who can be rich those who imagination different from the others and the last chapter is organized planning Firstly, identify what you suggest to give you exchange the money. If you have not fixed your plan, you can make or you can build a commercial strategy, being at once and put into the practice. If you fail, think about it and improve it. Where I am mistaken? That's the answer. You must realize that trial and error are the very recipient hurt. If it's true that winners never win and the winner never winner never quits, then there are the some qualities of leadership that can make your life a lot easier. Number one is courage, self-control, pleasant personality, and the mystery of expansion. Everyone, it starts it starts the plan after deciding the goal. But people often don't know how to put their plan into the action. So Mr. Hill follow follow these four steps to put their plans into action. Number one is create a mastermind group that include people who can help you to reach your goal. Number two is before assembling a group, ensure you know what you are giving them in return for completing your goal. Number three, meet with that group at least twice a week. and keep meeting with that group if 
possible until you devise a successful plan and number four is the main and number four is the maintain good relationship between you and the group at, at all the times but so at last to become a successful is not easy even thomas edison designed 10,000 times before practicing the light bulb, but he never gave up and finally he achieved his goal. So start planning wisely and keep trying till the plan works.